Yo, what's up guys, Super here. So today I have a guide for you on Skeletal Wyverns. They were apparently recently given an update on their drop table, and I figured I might as well go try them out. And I actually can confirm that I have been making a solid amount of money killing them, so I figured I'd make a guide on them. This is going to be a melee guide, so those of you who are looking to range them, I'm sorry, but uh, I may make a guide on them in the future, but this is going to be a melee one for you guys. So, a uh, quick background, Skeletal Wyverns require 70 to 72 Slayer to kill, so if you're below 72 Slayer, unfortunately you cannot kill them. You don't have to be on a Slayer task to kill them, by the way, so this is just you can go there and camp them if you want. Uh, some of their main drops include Granite Legs, they're actually the only monster that drops Granite Legs, so that's a fun fact. And they also drop the Draconic Visage, but it's a very, very, very low drop rate for that, it's extremely rare to get one from them. I actually don't think I've seen anybody get a, a, a Visi from Wyverns, but... Who knows? Probably gonna happen soon since they're a bit more common to kill now. So here we go. I'm gonna give you guys a quick uh, guide on how I do them. Now, for gear wise, they have high defense, attack, and hit points, so they are pretty challenging to kill. So I recommend having 80 plus attack and strength when you kill these things. If you have lower than that, they may take a while to kill, and doing many trips might not be worth it. So 80 plus attack and strength is recommended. And I recommend having 70 plus defense so you can wear Barrow's gear in specific carols. You can wear black dehyde, I just don't recommend it. I, I'd really recommend having um, uh, 70 defense to wear carols. So they are weak to crush, I believe. So what I have is a hasta. And a hasta allows you to wield a shield with it as well. So I just use the pound when I kill them. And another and very important fact is you have to have one of three shields. You have to be one, wielding one of three shields. A dragon fire shield, an elemental shield, or a mind shield. If you do not wield one of these three, then you will be hit for very high, and you will drain your stats will be drained. So uh, you can't kill them without wearing one of those three shields that I just mentioned. Uh, and yeah, so gear wise, pretty standard gear. I'll basically switch out what I you can use for I guess uh, not necessarily more welfare gear, but gear that doesn't cost as much as I have right now. I'm just wearing a Nezi fire cape, my fury. I have a DFS and hosta. Uh, my D boots, a Zerker ring, and gloves. So this is, I wouldn't say max gear. You could obviously go there with bandos, but I'm wearing carols for the mage defense since you're going to be praying range when you're there. You can also switch this out for these three things, which will save you a lot of money. Uh, I, actually, this will save you like 30 mil if you don't have these three things. So uh, a whip, elemental shield, and ring of wealth work. I actually used the, the setup right here, um, right here, right here on my first ever trip there, and I did just fine. But obviously, I get I get more kills using this setup right here. So that's what you're going to be wearing. Uh, now what you guys want to bring in your inventory is pretty simple. I bring one super combat potion. I use super combat to save me strength because I don't want to bring a single dose of attack, strength, and defense. Now obviously you can. It'll save you a bit more money, but you won't have enough or you won't have as much inventory space for the lobsters, which you'll be also using. I bring two full prayer pots. Now they actually drop prayer pots, fours as a drop, so if you get lucky... You can get some prayer pots as a drop. I've already gotten many of those, so that's a fun fact, obviously. But other than that, you guys will just need a house tab. And you can bring a dragon halberd if you want, but the only danger is you're taking off your shield to spec them, so I highly recommend doing that. So I recommend bringing a dragon dagger plus. That way, when you spec them, you can poison them, and that's really going to help you in, in killing them because it's depending on how long you, you know, the kill takes, the poison will really help. So that's why I recommend specking them uh, early, so your poison can do up to three to four hits on them. And then, pretty simple, the rest you're going to do is fill your inventory with a low-level food, preferably things like swordfish or lobsters. I just do lobsters, mainly because they're pretty cheap, and they're sufficient enough to do this. The If, if you have good gear, then the wyverns will never uh, hit you for that high. I think the highest I've been hit maybe is a 13, 11 or 13, one of the two. I think the, their max hit is a 14-14, and without the shield, their max hit is a 50 with the Icy Breath. Now, the Icy Breath does sort of a, spe sort of a special attack on you. What this means is that uh, when they do it on you, you get frozen in place. Uh, it's sort of like the Ice Barrage uh, in the Ancient Magic spellbook. Now, what happens is when this, what, when this happens, you won't be able to attack them for a certain amount of time. I believe it's like six seconds that you can't attack them, but if you have auto retaliate on then you automatically attack them uh, right after the their, they do their whole icy breath special attack thing so where this is is where i'm running right now i don't know if you guys can i think you should be able to see this but 
you guys want to go to this exclamation point right here. It's right above Mudskipper Point, and it's southeast of Remington. And as you guys can see, I just ran through Port Serum from a Glory Teleport. Now, many of you guys probably actually had Slayer tasks in this cave that has a low level. So you guys should know this place pretty well. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video here. Here's the audio you guys need to go down. I'm going to wait for my run to go up a little bit. And uh, I'll keep recording once I have higher run. Okay, so I got impatient. I'm just going to go down. I'm on 50 run, but whatever. I guess if you want, you could bring a stamina potion. Just a dose of stamina to keep your run up all the way from Draenor. Now, if you guys actually... I just have been running from Draenor for this for the whole time. But if you guys have any other efficient ways of doing this, let me know. Like getting here or gear or any of that. This is just the way I do it. This is a guide on how I do it. But obviously, there's always probably more efficient ways to do this. So please post below if you guys have any questions or, or comments or suggestions for how I should do this. So once you're in here, you guys want to go all the way south into the cave where all the ice warriors are. And you guys are going to see an enter icy cavern. You can obviously read the sign if you want but uh you're gonna enter the cave it's gonna say stop the creatures in the cave are very dangerous they really aren't that dangerous once you get in here you want to drink your your super combat and you want to start praying range and you want to make sure that you're on pound so like i said earlier quickly start off with a dragon spec or a dragon dagger stack make sure you hit so you can poison them there's a hit pretty good hit and your poison will start which will really help now i actually recommend uh, if you want to do this afk you obviously don't have to prayer flick but if you want to prayer flick it might speed up the process a little bit get you two three more kills in inventory and from this it's pretty it's pretty easy you just pray range and up oh, there i was frozen see there's their icy attack so i get frozen but as you can see i can do it right away pretty quickly they really aren't that hard to kill uh, once you're Super combat potion starts draining a little bit though, and you have your stats are a bit lower. Then it takes a little bit longer to kill them. But I only bring one dose. I don't think it's necessary to bring two. And you can see I've taken at times I don't take any damage from kills, but other times I take uh, a decent amount of damage. But as you guys can see from this first kill, I managed. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly loot the Eddy bars and Wyvern bones. But that drop was a Wyvern bones, which you can collect if you want. I'm collecting them for the a video I'm doing. I'm basically killing a thousand of these. And I'll have that loot video out soon. And they dropped 10 Addy Noted Bars, which is really good. Noted Addy Bars is, is always fabulous. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, it, it's pretty simple from here, guys. Uh, I usually get, I would say, 10 to 12 kills a trip here, depending on how hard I get hit. Oh, I was frozen again. But, obviously, if I ever get a Vissy from here, you know. Chris RG. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm just going to do this kill, and then... Basically, that's it, guys. Uh, so if you enjoyed this guide, leave a like. If you guys want to see more guides, and I guess I could do Slayer guys. I could do whatever. But uh, I enjoy doing this stuff. But I'm I'm happy these were given an update because these are whoops, these are pretty empty. These were pretty empty prior to the update. Actually, these are still pretty empty. But hopefully, more of you guys will, will come here if, you, if you're looking to make money. Uh, again, this is more of a higher level money-making guide. Oh, we got some magic logs. That's a good drop. 35 magic logs. It's like a 35k drop pretty much. So, yeah, guys, that's it. I appreciate you watching the guide, and I hope you have a great weekend. Peace. Oh, and I forgot to note that I'm going to, the last few clips in their video are going to be me getting some drops, as well as uh, two trips I've done to show you guys some loot. So, yeah. So, I'm literally here for the first time. Kill my first wyvern. Get a dragon plate here. <laughs> what? <laughs> and just like that, I got myself some plate legs. Sweet. All right, guys, so I just finished my first trip. Um, with pretty like, I would say, just gear where I'm guessing on what to wear. Uh, but I've gotten just from I took one bone from some guy, but from eight kills I've gotten two prayer pots, a rune full, forty five laws, eighty five deaths, ten addy bars noted, a dragon plate skirt and rune axe. And I'm not sure if the plate skirt's lucky, probably is, but that's still really good loot for about fifteen minutes of work. So I'm gonna go head back with some different gear and try it out again. I right, just finished another trip, got myself 10 Addy Bars, 35 Mage Larks, 225 Air Runes, a Snapdragon through Renars, 2 Renar Weeds, Dragon Plate Legs, Rune Axe, and 2 Prayer uh, Pots. So this took around uh, 15 minutes.